everyone, welcome back. It's Dean and Andrea, and today we're doing another furniture flip, but this time we're bringing on a guest painter, and that is our 11-year-old daughter, Riley. Yeah, so Riley is super creative. She's a little artist, but she's also a little entrepreneur, and she is our one that is always asking to do lemonade stands or asking what she can sell and ways that she can help earn money. And I could see her wheels turning watching me paint furniture. And so several months ago, she asked, Mom, can I do this too? Like, could I do some smaller pieces? Do you think I could sell them? And I said, well, yeah, why don't we start with some nightstands? I'll teach you the basics. I'll make sure you're doing quality work. And she did it and she actually did a really great job. And so this time we thought we would tackle a larger piece together. And she had extra motivation to finish this project because our kids have been saving it for guinea pigs for quite a while. And this project would get them up to right enough to finally be able to buy the guinea pigs, get everything we need to get that set up. So now that you know the story behind this flip, let's go ahead and dive into this project. This piece was a part of a bedroom set that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace several months ago. I already refinished the rest of the pieces in this set, and since I didn't have any plans for this one and it's a smaller dresser, it was the perfect piece to refinish with our daughter and let her get a try at doing something larger than a set of nightstands. You wanna do it in this room? We started out like I always do, and that's by removing the hardware and the drawers and then giving everything a really good clean. Nice! Leave it on the floor. Go to the next room. Hey, man. Where you going, man? Next, we filled all of the old hardware holes and I used Bondo for this and you'll see that I went ahead and did this myself as Bondo is a little bit more difficult to work with as a beginner because it does dry so quickly and you need to work fast, but Riley was still paying close attention and taking notes. Next, we gave everything a really good scuff sand and Riley got to use the electric sander for the first time. After the Bondo dried, we sanded that down really well, blew it all off with the leaf blower, and then wiped it down with a damp rag again. we're going to be using brushes and zebra brushes are my go-to paint brushes. The soft and really dense bristles hold a lot of paint and give an incredibly smooth finish. They have a wide variety of shaped brushes for every kind of project and if you ever see me painting a piece of furniture or touching up trim around the house I'm pretty much always reaching for one of my zebra brushes. And if you're interested in using the exact kit that I'm using here I'll link the furniture paintbrush kit in the description. We're using Melange's new one paint in the color Tally Green and these all-in-one paints that include the primer and the top coat are a great option if you're brushing. Yes! 
so if you couldn't tell already, we're kind of a family on wheels. Riding bikes for us is a great way to get some exercise, to have a lot of fun, and to spend some quality time together as a family. It's also a creative way to put mom's spare wood to good use. Let's go, bud. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> yes. And around here, pretty much everybody's into it. The boys are into it, our daughter's into it, I mean, heck, even mom's into it. That's partly because around here, you learn to ride in your diaper, uh, literally. And what can I say, the kids are just a chip off the old block, as dad still has a taste for the extreme these days. When I'm riding my bike, I live by this basic motto. If you find a good pile of dirt, you might as well jump it. I've even been known to jump in a skid steer and build a giant jump. When the jump's big enough to swallow small humans, you know it's ready to ride. And part of the reason we ride so many bikes around here is because I actually grew up riding and racing with my family and just made tons of amazing memories. So it's so fun for me to pass that on to our family and see us now building our own memories together over the chasm of doom. Over the chasm, over the chasm of doom! So now that you know why there's commonly bikes riding all around the painting projects, let's get back to the girls painting this dresser. We tackled the first coat together and had a lot of fun working together as a team on this. Since we were working on this after school in the afternoons, it was already getting dark after we finished that first coat, so we brought it all inside and we're ready to finish it up the next day when Riley got home from school. I showed Riley how I do a light sanding in between coats with 220 grit sandpaper just to smooth out any of the imperfections and then we were ready to do the last coat of paint. After that, we are ready for our second coat of paint.
discovered that painting can be a messy process. So while she got herself cleaned up, I cleaned both of our brushes. We let the piece dry overnight, and the next day we were ready for the new hardware, staging, and photos. We looked at several hardware options together and Riley picked out these simple antique brass knobs and I think they are perfect for the piece. Well, I love this piece. I think it turned out beautiful. And I love to see you and Riley working together and you just kind of showing her the ropes of this furniture refinishing process. Yeah, it was so fun to get to work on a project together with her. And I know from experience just what a great feeling it is to work with your hands, to turn something into something beautiful and worth more and get paid doing it. And so it's so fun to get to pass that on to her and she's learning that she can do hard things and I just, I love that. I love getting to teach our kids things like that and see them succeed and just have that good feeling of working hard and earning money for their hard work. So that's all for this video. We hope you enjoyed this flip and getting to see a little inside scoop on our family life and definitely join us for the next flip because it is a good one. We both really think it's awesome. It is. You're doing a fantastic job. Perfect. Perfect. Alright guys, guess where we're going? Pet store. Pet store. Guinea pigs. Babe, not the cigars again.
Hey, could you help me save on my car insurance? Good? Ah! Gee, man, what'd you make? Bikes, Cam. Nice. 